Oh, loads that we did. That's it, just you going there, big camper van. Oh, plenty of room. Anyways, back on the road. <laughs> Look at the time to meet him. What a nice caravaner. Hello guys, it's Sean Thompson here. Welcome back to another video. I'm in a customer's yard right now, so I'm not too confident, but here we are. Look at the beautiful scenery we have here in Kendall, and today I've taken off this sheep dipping trailer. Now I do have my POV camera. Hopefully we can get some good angles with that. But there she is. Now we've just got to get her off somehow. All right, so we've got this little load all here. So my idea is pull it up, strap it up, reverse back and hope for the best. Oh, she starts first time. She's a machine. Right, let's see what we're doing here. I don't think it's got a handbrake as such, but let's see what happens. Come on! How you going? Right, that'll do there. And I'll come up with a plan. I think ideally I want to be able to connect it as tight as I can actually. Let's go a bit closer. Yeah, that should be enough there. Put that in brake. Hopefully it doesn't roll. It doesn't look like it'll roll. And hope for the best. I just really hope it doesn't roll. Uh. Be really unfortunate. Not that I'll be able to push it, but nah, that's not rolling. But I hopefully I can hook something up here and just get it all tied up. My idea with that resting on there means that I'll be able to control it by either lifting it up and down. So let's put a bit of weight on her. Uh, take this strap off first. Oh, love that noise. Hopefully when I release all the tension off this one, it shouldn't spring too much, because this is the main one that's holding it back. Eh? Come on, don't spring too much. Oh, not much at all. Beautiful. Right, on to the next two. All right, now, it's not that dark, but it is getting quite dark. Here's my wee idea. Just got a strap pulling that way and a strap pulling that way. That's a bit messy, but that's just the loose stuff all tied up. So we've got one pulling across into here and then vice versa and that way it's now no longer part of the trailer it is now all the way resting on this here machine all right she's now with me nice and easy slow and steady wins the race I need to watch the back end, she's quite low on the back end but she should be okay Just put the boom down Just try and take as much of the height away as we can Oh, nice and easy Nice and easy Nice and easy That's our free from there. Let's see. How well does the handbrake hold? Pretty well. Right, let's go over a look. See what's happening. Before we continue, she is free. We need to lift it up. It's touching the bed there. That's pretty much not bad, eh? It's not bad at all. Beautiful. No damage to the actual machine, that light was already out. You can see there's no plastic remains or nothing. But uh, right, let's get, let's get her off the rest of the way. I was worried about that, but I think we've got away with it now. Half of it isn't sitting on a trailer still. Look how easy she's coming round to. Now that's the boy's straw wagon, so I'll try and sit it out the way of him. That's who I'm delivering it for there, so I'll try and sit out his way so that he can still go to work tomorrow and doesn't have to f about with it. Sit her here, walk her up, go take some pictures. Tidy up. And get to. Alright, here we are. We've just turned off uh, the Scottish border. 
uh, up into Dumfries. Uh, the rain's picking up a bit, so we'll drop our speed back. But we're just heading along here to pick up our back load for Inverness. Um, and pretty much uh, the first lay-by we come to, I'll pull in and get a bit of dinner. Because I've not had a proper meal since uh, 9 o'clock this morning. I did pull in to Burton and Kendall Services around three hours ago. Um, but there's no showers, so it didn't make sense to take a break there. So take a break up here. So, uh, hi. Let's fire on. First open lay-by. Stop for some food. I'm not gonna lie, I was in Sainsbury's and I bought this. This is one of the fanciest ding meals I've ever had. Look, it even comes with its own little bowl. But there we go, katsu curry. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I feel like the the presentation isn't really there, but uh, sometimes it's not about how it looks. So uh, let's give us a little taste. Katsu chicken curry. It's all right. It'll never be as good as Chow. Chow at Weatherby Services, honestly. Best cats, katsu chicken curry in the country. All right, not that you can see much, but here we are at our load for um, Inverness. As you can see, we've got my Semex hat on, keep it warm. It's a JCB 145, so let's get loaded. There we go. Not that you can see much, but this is the machine here. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Get some lights on and then hopefully we can start seeing stuff. Slipping a wee tiny bit. This is the worst part now. Once it goes over the hump of the bed and slams down. Hate that. Honestly. Nice and easy darling, nice and easy. There we go. Beautiful. Turn around. Ah, she's pretty much spawned at that. Beautiful. Let's put her straight up to the neck. Beautiful. Spin around, beautiful, beautiful. Right, now we just want to tuck it in. I'll tuck that right in. So let's uh, tuck this one in even further, and then down, down at the same time. I'll tuck that in, juice, lovely. All I'm going to do is quickly pull those mats to that point. Just so that the boom can hold the mat. It's probably as nice as we're going to get it. Let's have a look. Oh. Ah, that'll sit nice on that. I'll put a strap over that, hold that. Job's a good one, boy. Job is a good one. Oh no. <laughs> Bad mistake. Just switch that off. Keep the lights on for now. Bosh. There she's on. Alright, uh, still got an hour and a half left on our card, so I'm just going to stop in here for a wee five minutes uh, to say hello to missus and that, and you know, keep her happy, as they say. Plus, I might even get a wee shower, but uh, there we go. Lock that up. Beautiful, nice and easy. Some loader. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Oh, beautiful. Alright, we half an hour later, we shower, we coffee, good to go. And she gets sitting over there. It's just a wee baby half loader. The 14 ton it doesn't fill out that nice. Alright, so we're a wee bit on from Gervin and we've just pushed up until our card has pretty much run out. And if I just show you here, it's not going to show me on this screen now because I'm not driving, but there we are. Full days driving, 9 hours and 54 minutes, so 
We're kind of stopping early, yeah. But anyways, we've got a quick nine hour rest. Get back to it again tomorrow. See you in the morning. Oh, right. Good morning. It is, uh, <laughs> my hair's a bit high today. It is uh, nine o'clock here. We can't start until half ten. So uh, I had a wee lie in this morning. Obviously we need a nine hour off from our little journey last night. So we're just gonna sit here, take in the views of sunny Glasgow. Uh, got some sausage on the go. I've got a, bit of, uh, a couple of rubbish bags in my trailer. I'm gonna put them in, just quickly ready up, tidy up, and then I'll jump on the back load groups, try to find something coming back from Inverness. Ideally, going to the central belt. Um, if not, we could load something for like, you know, Leeds or something. Um, and then either deliver it Friday if we can get a load back up or deliver it first thing Monday because finding back loads on Fridays is tricky everybody's away home so we'll see how we get on and I'll let you know that really annoys me right that's a bag of rubbish alright if bin's right there you absolute paedophile but like for instance myself right obviously I have a rubbish bag I put it here obviously I had this box as well for my straps that's my rubbish bag put some wood on it kept it with me until I got somewhere to drop it off. I just, I hate folk. Like, that's just pure. I don't even know what that is. You know what I mean? And you should probably. You over there. You know what I mean? It's got that bin juice off me. Yeah. While we're here actually we should probably just check the load Make sure everything's alright, chains are alright That one looks nice and tight Oh yeah, oh man. It's not going anywhere that That big digger oh, Isn't going anywhere Oh breakfast is served boys, look at them Oh yes Beautiful Alright it's half ten, sausages are done, everything's good to go. Let's go on the road. We need to go up a wee bit and get some fuel. We've only got 71 miles of fuel. I didn't fancy fueling up last night and sitting at the side of a lay-by with like five, six and a quid worth of fuel. So we'll go do that right now and uh, fire on up the road. Here we are, offloading the digger. Just gonna go sit you over somewhere. Get a nice review of it coming off. All unchained, ready to go. Alright, oh, that is everything all floated, all tidied up. 
I'm just going to lift the old tag axle here, whatever you want to call it. Lift an axle, whatever it is. It's a tyre that goes up and down and it just saves tyre wear for when I'm empty. Um, or when I'm light. Um, but as you can see, today will be the first option. Can't tell off an axle. Whenever I reverse on the site, if it's tight, I always put that off. Just to minimise the risk of me looking like a fanny. Anyways, first time using them. That was cracking. I really wish I could remember the person at Euro Auctions that told me about that. But anyways, let's get on the road. Uh, so right now we're in Aviemore. We've left Inverness. Uh, I do apologise. I haven't recorded in a couple of hours. The problem was I was picking up a new customer I've never picked up from before. And the last thing I wanted to do was jump out and be like, oh, here we are with the cameras and that. Because at the end of the day, every first load you do for somebody, or to be honest, pretty much every load you do for somebody, it's pretty much like a business interview kind of thing, you know what I mean? But they're going to be looking out the window, especially your first one. They're going to be looking out the window, being like, what's this guy up to? How's he tying things down? What's his lorry like? What's he like? What's his presentation like? They're going to be looking at all that, because at the end of the day, they're not going to be at work by anybody that's just a fanny, really. So that's what I did. Went in all nice and professional. And uh, aye, I'll show you the load in just a second. But it's going to run out of Adler. And uh, hi, I meant to fill up the ad glue as I left in my mess, but I completely forgot. So here we are in Aviemore, spending 33 quid for five litres because I was in too much of a hurry. But it's either that or drive to Pit Lock Crate at 20 kilometres an hour because it's just about to reduce my speed, which isn't handy. I normally keep one of these in the lorry to a wee spare tank, but I just haven't filled it up, so that's my fault. I'll fill this one up when I get home though. Alright, we've got a big generator here, got a couple of wee loose bits in there, and then we've got this big massive generator and this 6 metre long pole. So uh, let's get it delivered to Pit Lockery. Oh, I love that! So I just phoned uh, obviously the two customers to ask about their site opening times, just so I can plan the route. Um, and I phoned the, the first one, he's like, ah, um, 7 till 2, like, that's perfect, no worries, that's the further away one. The closer one, and Pit Lockery is 24 hour so I'm gonna get to offload this tonight and then fire on to the second drop Woo! that is tidy because in that way I'm not parking up with the uh, like loose time you know what I mean I'm getting to make the most of my car today we'll get down to the second drop park up there offload 7 o'clock in the morning Bob's your uncle love that man love that oh Jesus Christ man buddy well definitely off the A9 now Obviously before we were stuck behind escorts, now, uh, now we're stuck behind absolutely nobody but also, in the same respect, don't think anybody's about. Oh wait, there's a building. What's that? Hey, mall in. Bye. Not bad wee roads. This reminds me of the removals. With the removals, this was the kind of ooh, loads that we did. That's it, just you going there, big camper van. Ooh. Plenty of room. Anyways, back on the road. <laughs> what a good time to meet him. What a nice caravaner. Normally they like to stick out a mile and cause you all sorts of grief. Do 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 do. Aye, but this, this, these kind of ro roads, uh, these roads remind. <sighs> these kind of roads remind me of removals. This was the the places that we used to to move folk to, like you know, city centre of Glasgow, out to the middle of but nowhere.
All right, as I just dropped off the first part of the load, we're now just firing on a wee 37 miles down this single track road, which will bring us eventually to our next drop. And there's, uh, no, there's quite good money on this job. Um, it's been nice, nice and easy so far, but time will tell. But I quite like this. Uh, uh, that was 24 hour site, this site doesn't open till 7 a.m. At least that way, I'll be there first thing in the morning to offload this wee screed and then uh, see what else is happening. It's quiet now, though, it is quiet. I was lucky to get that load. I've had a bit of a problem with this uh, woman here, is, uh, is stuck on the fence. All right, so I've just got out of that. That uh, woman was uh, a little bit, not a very confident driver. So I'm just checking my lorry because I'm pretty sure I damaged it. Because I, I had to do, not that I'm trying to pretend I'm a good driver, but I had to do most of the uh, manoeuvring because she was unable to. I think all I did was really just scratch it there. But that's just, that's just trees. That's not even into the paint. Everything looks all right. This bit was swung right out over the ditch, but that looks fine. Oh, there's where it's happened there. You can see where it's happened there. It's burst that strap. Um, but all in all, God, that's spooky. All in all, she is grand. She is grand. That's all it's done is take that strap off. Just burst that one. And you can see pretty much what's been rubbing there. You can see the, the paint. Yes, yeah, so that's what I've touched there. I've done it there. Along there. Not bad. Could have been a lot worse, but not bad. So it's just a wee, just a wee paint scratch. But that was off the wall, uh, just kind of reversing and manoeuvring. It's a shame, she was a lovely woman, but she just, she wasn't too confident with the old vehicle there. I'm just checking my tyres are all right. Because if they were getting scubbed off the wall, you can see where it's scubbed a little bit there, but not much. And here's where she reversed into me, and that's when I kind of called it, was like, right, I'll do it. But she's not done anything really apart from a wee scuff mark there that you can see everything else is fine her car was a wee bit worse but i was like right keep coming keep coming and she just honestly when i say she full throttled it she sent that thing flying backwards our trailer man just was like what the right so, so i've arrived here on site in the middle of nowhere like nowhere right and originally i was just gonna park in a lay-by before i got here and wait but all the lay-bys were about that size you can't see it, it's too dark. Tiny, enough for a car. Anyways, we've got this six meter tube, which is scaffy pole, but it's light as anything, and this wee generator, right? Now, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, but I think I'm gonna undo the Harris fence and drop the stuff in the fence, take pictures, and get to because then that way I can get home tonight, and I'm not sitting here till eight, nine o'clock in the morning for to do the exact same thing as I would do. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I'm not annoying anybody by doing this. But it means I can get home, eh? How did Sean die? Oh, he's off. Update. Update. I should have just went to bed. I should have just went to bed. Oh, I should have just went to bed. I tried to hold it, the pole, I had it. I tried to hold it against my belt buckle and I've crushed my, my pinky. I can't show you right now, it's a lot of blood. I just need to get this in here and get it done now. I've started, I can't stop. Oh, my finger has a heartbeat. Like, I'll show you the blood when we get into the cab. Oh, f hell, it's so sore. I should have just went to bed. It's a lesson. Stop by to try to be too fast. Stop trying to get things done quick. And your finger won't have a heartbeat. Oh my god, my nail, by the way, is in two. All right, it's offloaded. My finger, man, is gouping. Oh, I can't eat. I can't eat describe the... F I honestly feel like I've cut it off. Eh? Oh. 
I need to stop rushing about so much, man. Oh, I've done bad myself. I should have just went to bed. I just, I was worried about here. And cars getting by and... Oh, man, alive. Oh, my fingers on fire, man. I, I was starting... Oh, I can't even really show you, probably because of YouTube. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm feeling sick, eh? I've split my nail right in half. It's right in my nail bed. I've not broke my finger. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't feeling sick right now. That was delivery for hell. Eh? My finger is pulsing like f I don't know why I banded the two of them together, but oh my god, it's so f oh. Alright. We two hours up the road. And that is us. Done for tonight. I've not had any food yet, so I'm going to head to McDonald's, get a wee bit of food. Head home, come back tomorrow and uh, clean the lorry up. Right, I'm pretty sure I'm wasting everybody's time. It is the next day, my finger is still absolutely gouping. It is swollen to f can't show you, obviously, because YouTube. But it is like double the size that it normally is. So here we are at Cross House a and &E. I really honestly think I'm wasting my time, but... I went into the office this morning and was like, oh, I think I should do that, and every one of them was like, go to and and I was like, but it's just a broken nail. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is broken, like, like the very top of my nail. But, oh, honestly, man, it's gouping. I'm going to spend the next three hours here in A&E. All right, here we are, back at the yard, uh, three hours later, uh, and basically... Uh, I still feel like I wasted their time there, but I've got a chipped bone and obviously I've ripped my nail off. Um, just feel, I just feel stupid. Just embarrass myself a bit, but... That's what it is. No f***ing way. Someday... Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this, man. Somebody's crashed into my lorry. There we go, a wee two hours later, and that is her sparkling clean. Obviously, still to fix the damages, but everything's clean, trailer's clean. Ah. Back to normal. There she is, all done, and I think next week we're gonna tackle this lorry. Next week is very quiet, nothing's booked in yet. I think I'm going to put this on the step frame and take it down the switch so that it can finally restart the restoration pro the process. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And remember, slow down. Time isn't always money. <laughs> See you in the next one.